So I'd like to welcome our three wonderful panelists, Avneet ma'am, Dr. Jasmeet, and uh, Simran ma'am. And also I'd like to welcome the viewers who have joined so far. So today's webinar is a part of the series which we've already started, the Coach Talks. And here we're focusing on the career-related questions which the youth have. For Ajda theme, we'll be focusing totally on the questions which our high school students have, the questions related to what stream to choose, what interests them, what actually they should be doing, what, what subjects they should carry forward in their lives. So we have, uh, we've done online research on Instagram and other social media platforms, and we have a bunch of questions. Before we move on to that, I think we should start with our panelists introducing themselves. So we'll start with Simran Ma'am. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Simran and uh, I am a child and adolescent psychologist. Uh, I'm also a certified career counselor and I'm working with the basics of Sikhi organization with the book. So. Just me, ma'am. Uh, good evening, Satsrikal. Hello to everybody. I'm Dr. Jasmeet Pa. I work in the Department of Elementary Education at Matasundri College, which is under University of Delhi. And uh, I teach, uh, uh, like we make teachers, and those who are interested uh, in joining teaching profession, we train them. And uh, also my subject areas are child psychology, children with special needs, and how to link ICT with education these days. Amneet ma'am. Hi, good evening, Satsriya Kaal. Uh, this is Avneet Kaur and I am a life coach by profession. For the last 15 years, I've been into careers counseling. And like, like I said in the last webinar that uh, I think I've faced the brunt of not making the right decision and not being guided properly. Uh, and with little self-awareness, maybe when you make the choice, it took me about 10 years to discover what my real passion was and what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. So with that pain, I felt that a part of my mission is to support youngsters make this decision more mindfully and with awareness. And that's why these webinars. Wow. So I think we really have a perfect blend of professionals on board with us today. So our viewers are certainly going to benefit from this. So I think let's start with the questions which we've gathered. Starting with the first question. So the question which we've gotten is that, how important is the role of career in one's life? Why is it that the career making decision is so critical? And I think it's a, it's a question which is so relatable and so relevant for me. I'm not in high school, but being in college, I know the career decision I've made is certainly something I don't support anymore. So I know it's certainly a very, very critical decision. But the question is, why is it so critical? And why, why is it so important for someone to think about this? Like, why, how does it affect someone's future so much? So I think we'll start with Simran, ma'am. So uh, when we talk about careers, I just want to give you all a very simple and very uh, relatable example. Now, for example, if you want to use Google Maps, you want to go to a certain place. Unless we know the destination, unless we have a fair idea where we are wanting to go, the entire journey would be a miss. It would be, you know, full of challenges. We'll, we'll be just wandering around. We'll not, unless we know where we, what's our goal, where we're wanting to be, uh, the entire process of moving and using Google Maps will not be relevant. So just taking this in our analogy and trying to explain <laughs> how careers and what careers are and how careers matter, uh, let me just tell it a little deeper. Now, uh, when we talk about careers, first and foremost, we need to understand that careers are very different from jobs. Uh, jobs are something that we do just for, uh, you know, uh, earning a wage, earning a pay package. And, uh, you know, we need to understand how job is different from a career. There are various, so career is an umbrella term, which include, may include a lot of jobs in the path. And uh, career, uh, you know, it keeps, when we talk about career, there are a lot many changes that happen within a career. There are a lot many new skills that we learn to, we need to develop. There are a lot many jobs we might change in that similar career. So uh, first, this, first and foremost, this distinction is very important. So when I talk about careers, uh, career, the role of career, why career is important, it helps us in bridging the gap 
between where we are today and where we want to be in future. Mm. Now, uh, there, this is uh, the thinking why career is important. Now, uh, you know, first and foremost, we need to understand that whatever we decide to do, whatever path we choose, there's a lot of time that we would be staying in this path. If, uh, for example, we come uh, after our 12th, we move into do graduation, post graduation and take on higher uh, degrees. So, uh, you know, by 25, that's the age when we feel that uh, our careers for, you know, some of us start. And our retirement age is around 65 years. So, you know, this is the time where we are spending more than 40 years, 40 precious years uh, of our life. So first and foremost, the amount of time that we spend here. Uh, and uh, if the career is not of our preference, if not, is it's not of our choice, uh, there'll be a lot that will be impacted. Uh, now, uh, when we come that, uh, you know, uh, when we're choosing a career, like we decide that uh, this is what is best for me. This is where I want to be. Now, once we know that, it helps us to be very mindful of whatever I'm investing time in. Whatever I want to do, is that in alignment of what I want to be or not? So it helps us become very mindful of various things that we are doing, of the choices that we make, and of all the decisions that we take in our life. Now, uh, moving on to another aspect, uh, when we uh, say that, uh, okay, one we are, once we are in investing these many years in the career, the other important aspect why career is so important is that uh, career uh, is not only our workplace, but what uh, if, if we are in a career which syncs with our choices, which syncs with us, which syncs with our personality, a lot of that would be reflected in our home as well. So, uh, you know, if you are in a career which does not, which you do not like, or which does not sync with your personality, there'll be most of the time you'll be spending coping in that uh, environment, in office environment. And just, you'll be spending those many years just uh, coping and trying to struggle. You know, it will be just, your aim would be that job, wala thing, taking wage, taking paycheck. Now, when you have this kind of unfulfilling life, it impacts a lot on your personal, on your family life as well. So, uh, whereas if we see the reverse, uh, if we see the reverse, there'll be a lot of uh, positivity in it. There's be a lot of uh, energy which will be involved in the career if it is not, uh, you know, unfulfilling career. So that's how it impacts our family life as well. Now, third, and the th again, a very important aspect, it also decides our social life, our friend circle, our, uh, you know, the people whom we interact to. So that, again, is a very important parameter why choosing a career is important. Moving on, you know, it becomes in your identity as well. Uh, and if you are in a career which syncs with your personality, then, uh, you know, it becomes a very good part of your identity. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, we see a lot of deviation there as well. And obviously it gives a direction, it gives a purpose to our lives. Uh, so I think uh, very rightly, you've given us four perspectives or four takeaways which our viewers can take away that why the why is it such a critical decision? It's mainly that you said it bridges the gap between where we are, where we want to be, how our professional life affects our personal life and how whatever we do professionally is something with which we are identified. So I think these takeaways are something which our viewers are my, my must be benefiting. Moving on to the next question. Now seeing how career is so critical in our life and how it does affect our life so much, while making the choice, what are the criteria which we should keep in our mind which when mm -hmm. we are deciding what to pursue in our life? Since you said it's a decision which lasts with us, for the near future, for the coming 30, 40 years, we'll be in the same profession. Yeah. So what, it being such a serious decision in all of our lives, what are the criteria that we should be focusing? Should it be the monetary benefits which we're deriving out of a profession? Or what are the criteria? So please throw some light upon this. Uh, so we'll start with the meat, ma'am. 
um like they say a career can make you or break you at the same time um one wrong choice and how we've just understood that how your life will be so wobbly i think uh, but also we need to understand how most people most youngsters ye decision lena ka padta hai most of us pehla career decision aata hai at the age of say 18 uh or sorry 16 17 when you're in class 10 uh when you choose your, you you narrow down to a stream and indian system may hum streams choose karte hain and and that kind of narrows down what i'll be able to do in future so 16 17 years old ki umar ch oh pehla decision then the next decision is at the age of 18 19 now as much as i know the youngsters and how let, little we know ourselves you know what are the most common ways in which people are making decisions aaj bhi in india what are the most common ways in which career decisions are made number 1 still remains what parents were deciding jo by parents ne paida hote hi bacche ke liye decide kar liya tha that this is what my child will do my son will do this my daughter will do this i think most of our lives we continue to push our kids to like that career agar aaj dhakka nahi laga rahe to aaj motivate karte rehte hain unko bar bar wahi examples dikhate hain ki un uncle nu dekho aur aunty nu dekho jo us career vich ja rahe hain and they are doing well where where we are interested so one it still remains a parental decision number two i think a lot of youngsters get influenced by their friend circle friends kya kar rahe hain friends mein kya popular hai especially when it comes to subject choices ya agar sare friends commerce mein ja rahe hain main akela science lene wala hu to matlab no 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 my friends are more important let me follow my friends and i think uh, these are few ways that i'm talking about right now are sure short sure ways of career disaster मतलब जिसमें अपना करियर 40 इयर्स नेक्स्ट डिजास्टर में चाहिए ना वो ये ये स्टेप जरूर फॉलो करे कि एक तो वो सिर्फ जो पेरेंट्स ने एक दिन सोच लिया था वो फॉलो करे ब्लाइंडली अपने फ्रेंड्स को फॉलो करता जाए द थर्ड वे आई थिंक पीपल मेक इज ट्रेंड्स चल क्या रहा है व्हाट्स इन फैशन दीज डेज सो वी आर ऑल प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ व्हाट व्हाट वाज फैशनेबल इन आवर टाइम्स सो व्हेन आई वाज ग्रोइंग अप आई आई ऑलवेज यूज्ड टू सी engineering was the thing to do 10 people 10 men in my family were engineers and i thought that was the thing to do you got a good career you got good pay packages when i grew up wo engineering thoda sa niche aaya and we suddenly had this economic boom and mba was the thing to do like you that's what you do mba beech mein and now we see it so these are trends जैसे भेड़ बकरियां सारी एक के पीछे एक चलती जाती है हम भी वो ट्रेंड्स फॉलो करते करते एक दूसरे के पीछे पीछे क्योंकि हमें लगता है ये हमें बेटर लाइफस्टाइल दिला देगा वी विल वी विल हैव अ नाइस पे पैकेज एंड दिस इज व्हाट मोस्ट पीपल आर वांटिंग दे आर देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिमांड फॉर दिस लेट मी डू दिस एंड आई थिंक इफ यू जस्ट फॉलो द डिमांड द प्रॉब्लम इज जो हमने लास्ट वेबिनार में डिस्कस किया था डिमांड ऊपर नीचे होती रहेगी जैसे वो डिमांड गिरेगी आपकी भी जरूरत कम हो जाएगी बिकॉज यू डिड नॉट फॉलो वॉट यू हैड टू डू i think the other way people make a decision is based on um ke uh, ek 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 image judi hui hai har stream ke sath i'll take a simple example and please excuse me for saying this but how in our minds there is a certain level level of pride associated with certain careers like mujhe apna beta engineer ya doctor abhi bhi dekhna hai this is a dream for most parents i know and it gives us a kick so you know if after 10th i could take a simple example uh when you look at the three different sections to unki self esteem ya unki jo image hoti hai school mein society mein wo nazar aati hai ki usme clear demarcation jo hum kehte hain na caste system tha aur caste system aaj abolish ho chuka hai to schoolon mein mujhe wo caste system bada clear nazar aata hai ki jo medical students hain jo medical stream leke baithe hain unki to sabse high image hai ki ye sabse padhaku sabse intelligent the brightest of the bright are these lot उसके बाद नॉन मेडिकल वाले वो काफी क्लोज कंपटीशन में है पर हल्का सा नीचे आ जाते हैं बिकॉज उनकी सप्लाई uh, ज्यादा है इस समय फिर देन सो दैट्स अ साइंस सेक्शन बट साइंस इज लाइक द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू इफ यू आर ब्राइट दैट्स व्हाट यू डू अच्छा अगर अगर आप थोड़े कम ब्राइट हो तो कॉमर्स सो कॉमर्स की थोड़ी सी लेवल कम आती है उसमें भी डिविजन है फर्दर डिविजन सो कॉमर्स विद मैथ्स तो फिर भी वो है जो सीरियस है लाइफ में और जो बिल्कुल सीरियस नहीं है जिनको कुछ नहीं करना जो खाली टाइम पास करने आए हैं वो कॉमर्स विदाउट मैथ्स ले लेते हैं एंड जो बिल्कुल यूजलेस है वो ह्यूमैनिटीज लेते हैं सो यू नो वी स्टिल हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ इमेज एसोसिएटेड एंड जब करियर डिसीजन लेना होता है तो शायद अ लॉट ऑफ अस यंगस्टर्स एंड पेरेंट्स अगर हमें सोचना कि मेरे बच्चा ह्यूमैनिटीज नो 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 चाहे उसके इंटरेस्ट वहां पर है चाहे दे आर पैशनेट अबाउट इट चाहे उनके टैलेंट है वहां पे बट वी थिंक नहीं नहीं ऐसा ना बड़ा लोअर लेवल वर्क है दिस इज लाइक द मीनियल जॉब दिस इज अ शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड एंड दैट इज वाई वी मे नॉट वॉन्ट टू टेक आई थिंक इट्स इट्स वन ऑफ द वर्स्ट वेज टू मेक डिसीजन इज जस्ट बाई गोइंग बाई द इमेज 
the next thing people chase is success lifestyle college so many people i know will choose college as a brand school as a brand mujhe pata chal raha hai ki meri mere subject choices mere school mein nahi available hai but i am in a good school so called good school reputed school and to take and pursue my subject choice i'll have to shift to a school but i will not why because i am in a high brand school i don't want to give up on the brand or mujhe jab college aur school mein uh, college and course mein choose karna hai तो मैं कोर्स पे कॉम्प्रोमाइज कर लूंगा पर मैं बेटर कॉलेज ब्रांड लेना चाहता हूँ सो आई विल गेट इन टू दैट ब्रांडेड कॉलेज बट आई मे कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन द स्ट्रीम द चॉइस और माई ओन केपेबिलिटी सो आई थिंक दीज आर श्योर शॉर्ट फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ डिजास्टर लास्ट वेबिनार में इस वेबिनार में आई थिंक वन थिंग वील हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द माइंडफुल वे ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग इज कमिंग फ्रॉम सेल्फ अवेयरनेस anybody who wants to enjoy the rest 40 years of their life anybody who wants to feel happy seven days of the week and not only wait for weekends to live their life they will have to become very mindful i just want to bring your attention towards this game that we played as kids yahan pe dekh rahe hain yahan pe koi triangle hai koi square like circle heart star yahan pe alag alag shapes hai अब हम क्या है हम भी कुछ इन्हीं शेप्स की तरह है वी आर ऑल लाइक दीज डिफरेंट शेप्स एंड 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 वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड अ स्पेस इन आवर लाइफ पर हो क्या रहा है अब ये 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 स्क्वायर है और इसको क्या बता दिया गया कि भाई बेटा स्क्वायर तो ठीक है तुम हो पर स्टार बनना है तुम्हें क्योंकि सानू सारे नो स्टार बनना है वी ऑल वांट टू बिकम रॉक स्टार्स इन लाइफ वी ऑल वांट सक्सेस इन लाइफ सो वी विल ट्राई टू फिट दिस इन अब ये नहीं फिट हो रहा तो मैं फिर यहां ट्राई कर ही जा रहा हूं कर ही जा रहा हूं ये फिट नहीं होगा इट वोंट फिट इन तो अब मैं क्या करूंगा अब मैं कोई हथौड़ी कुछ कुछ लेके आऊंगा मे बी आई गेट एन एक्स एंड कट दिस ऑफ टू फिट दिस इन या फिट इन तो हो गया श्योर बट डू रियलाइज वट हैज है इट्स लॉस्ट इट्स सेल्फ इट्स लॉस इट लॉस्ट इट्स आइडेंटिटी इट्स लॉस्ट इट्स मीनिंग इट्स लॉस्ट इट्स पर्पज अब वो फिट इन होके शायद ये स्टार तो बन गया लेकिन सारी जिंदगी वो अनफुलफिल्ड रहेगा But what we didn't realize was, was 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 it 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 had to realize was, ki apne aapko aur dekho, wo space 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 to 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 realize that 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 easily fit in ho jaunga, pe mujhe kam effort and 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 great amount of ease I'll fit in, and that will give me me. the most satisfaction because I remain me. But for that, I'll have to understand what this is. Mere apni properties क्या है The square will have to understand. I have four sides, and I have four equal sides. The triangle will have to understand. I have three sides. We'll have to understand ourselves, and I think the way to understand ourselves one, the simple formula: what am I passionate about? What is my potential? And what purpose can I serve? Three P formula. I repeat: what is my passion? ऐसी क्या चीज है? जो मुझे जिंदगी में सोने नहीं देती सुबह जल्दी उठा देती है जिसमें मुझे भूख प्यास खत्म हो जाती है आई रिपीट दिस एवरी टाइम बट आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ अस हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड आवर पैशन इन लाइफ प्लीज डिस्कवर हर एक को कोई ना कोई चीज है जो उनके लिए बहुत उनको मजा आता है उन्होंने एनर्जी मिलती है दे गेट एन एनर्जी एनर्जाइज वाइल डूइंग दैट दैट्स योर पैशन देन ईच वन ऑफ अस हैज समथिंग वी आर एक्सेप्शनली गुड एट कोई भी यहाँ पे बैठे सुन रहे हैं जो देख रहे हैं अगर ये सोचते हैं मेरे में क्या अच्छा है आई हैव नथिंग मैं स्कूल स्टॉप नहीं करता मैं मसा पास सुनना व्हाट इज गुड अबाउट मी यू हैव फाउंड इट येट माय डियर यू हैव समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी अबाउट यू येट टू बी फाउंड सो यू हैव अ स्ट्रेंथ यू हैव समथिंग दैट यू हैव यू यू हैव इनली वेरी गुड एंड सम वेज यू कैन लुक एट आर सम ऑफ योर हॉबीज Please start looking at your hobbies. Free time में क्या करते हो? These are very good windows to understand your passions and your abilities. जो free time में चीजें हम करते हैं ना, normally we are good at those. That's why we pick them up in free time. And normally they give us a lot of pleasure. क्योंकि उसमें कोई डंडा नहीं होता, उसमें कोई school से या college से या parental pressure नहीं होता. And you're doing it. That means you enjoy it and you're good at. It. And the third very critical thing is find your purpose. Find there is a problem in the world. there is something not right in the world and you have the capacity to solve it you have the capacity with your ability and passion you can solve that problem so if you find what that problem is that you can solve that becomes your purpose and when these three integrate ye triple formula the tricycle of my life 
the the tripod stand of my life jo in three piece ko balance karke decision lete hai na i think they are able to very smoothly fit in and sail without much stress and pressure like they say if you if you uh, choose your passion and you are good at it you will not have to work for the rest of your life i think so you've given us a very very fresh perspective of like we think hum ek criteria bata do hum apna career kaise choose kare what you trying to say that we build our own criteria we have to ask ourselves what exactly yeah. do we want in life keeping the three p's in mind the the passion potential and purpose we make we make our choices meet with what we passionate about so the next question which we come across is theek hai ab main passion kaise dhoondu how what how do i know what interest do i have how would i know what am i made for like main apni stream kaise choose karu ki on what basis should i do that i'm not self aware i'm not i just don't know what i'm interested in what will you give them what answer will you give them to the this section of students who still think ki mujhe nahi pata mera interest kya hai mujh main khud ko hi to nahi janta duniya ko janta hu friends ko janta hu khud ko nahi janta so i think pehle to apne aap ne features list down karne shuru kar de hum log last course mein hum log bachcho ke sath kar rahe the that jaise aap koi product leke aate hain and how you see they advertise it through that uh, the features so please identify your features what what are you good at your personality your interests your hobbies to apna free time scan karo like i know of kids jo apne free time mein seedha ja ke research kar rahe hain on on aerospace and how how uh, pilots ride and how they save accidents now this clearly tells such inclination towards flying as a career kuch bachche hain jinko biology itna intrigue karta hai ki meri human body mein kaise kaam kar raha hai so the moment they get a little bit of free time they straight away go to youtube and they start seeing the body within so these are ways you can understand that this is something that interests you now if if there is if you are not doing it in free time and and you think you're passionate about it and you don't do anything towards that profession i think aapki perception bahut colored or influenced step from your friends and family ke ye kar le ye acha hai tere liye apne aap ko jano apne features ko jano apni personality traits ek bada simple sa tarika hai apni key strengths meri main kya cheez hai meri personality mein kya gun hai kya qualities hai which are which are remarkable which i am consistent in consistency is the word main kya cheeze consistently badi achhi kar leta hu kya cheeze meri limits hain jo main nahi kar pata chaah ke bhi nahi kar pata now wo dono ko understand karke fir dekho kin professions mein in qualities ki zarurat hai which professions need these qualities that is probably giving you a hint that yahan par ek match nazar aa raha hai ki mere mein wo acha hai meri wo strength hai for example if i am good in words if i am good at talking i should be looking at which careers require me to talk a lot because agar main aisa career chun lungi jahan pe mujhe muh band karke screen ke samne baithna hai aur sara din apne aap ke sath hi rehna hai shayad mere liye wo discomfort hoga but if i can think of careers which is education which can be counseling which can be motivational speaker which can be training and development which can be hr a lot of these functions require you to talk a lot or customer service or sales where you'll constantly be talking and interacting with people that becomes a more logical way of making decisions so apni personality ko analyze karo qualities dekho apne talents dekho kya cheeze aap achhi karte aa rahe ho and see kin careers mein ye cheeze chahiye hongi that's one way anybody else who wants to add more to this of how we can become more aware of our interests just me ma'am most of it has been said you know so it doesn't make any uh, relevance of repeating it again so any when it comes yeah. to becoming more self aware the point i think one thing we all look forward to is career counseling so what do you think is the importance of career counseling in all of this that how does career counseling help us find what we are made for or what stream should we choose uh see uh, as a child you know when they have identified all the strengths and they've gathered what they have in them it's very important that uh sometimes after gathering all that still you don't know what is right for me what is wrong for me you are still at a crossroad that time you need career counseling you need help of a professional because sometimes you are a first generation learner in your family nobody knows what are the professional opportunities for you what are the uh, courses for you so that is the time once you have identified your strengths you know these are the things which i'm really passionate about 
and I can, uh, you know, move ahead. Now I need to, I need to go to a professional. So once you go to the professional, professional is a person who will, uh, you know, guide you about various careers. So they analyze you. They do a simple test, and uh, after that, looking at your strengths, they tell you what are you looking at, and also they help. They give you a variety of options. See, for example, I'll give you a very simple example. If you have cauliflower in front of you and you really love it, you there is it's the only option is not to make it into a vegetable, but there are a lot of other options you can you know mold it into. So you will still get the same taste, the same quality of the cauliflower, and you will enjoy it also. Similarly, for example, like just now um, we told that you know if you are a very good speaker. It's not that anybody who is a good speaker can be a TV anchor or a radio jockey. No, there are a lot of other skills which are required. You can be good at teaching. You can be a good lawyer also. So, depending on further your, what are, what can be your specialization, the child needs career counseling, which has to be done by a professional. These days, most of the schools have counselors in school, which help the child. They give them a lot of options. What are the options available for career counseling, and uh, uh, what are what are the various kind of careers? You know, depending on the stream you have chosen, you can also they can uh, talk about what you know we need to highlight about in that particular child. Then also availability of resources. Availability of resources is very important. Sometimes you are staying in a very far off town, and there are limited financial resources. and you are looking at a cost which is available only in one university so then it's not possible you know for the child uh, you know if you're aiming for that particular course it's not always possible that you can go for that course because there is only one university so there are many allied courses uh, which the child can go for so one should keep all the options open so that if it's not possible in one course then the co- the potential which i have the strengths which i have related to that what are the other backup plans which i can plan so i think the major takeaway which i i'll understand from all of this is that as as a high school student i should think and reflect about what actually interests me than just following the rat race that everybody is doing so i should focus what i'm doing in my free time as avneet ma'am said see see things which i'm actually very very consistent as and if i still think i'm very confused then the best way is to turn to a professional and go for career counseling i have something to add here i think um, let's understand how um, healthcare works in this country the moment you fall sick to hamare yahan pe ghar mein bahut sare doctor hote hain jo bina kisi degree ke aapko alag alag nuske alag alag dawaiyan khud hi prescribe kar dete hain and they say chal ye kar le mere liye kaam kiya tha tere liye bhi karega right and hum wo nuske try karte hain and more than often than not uh, we struggle ek hafta 10 din we try one formula another formula doesn't work and finally we say yaar kisi acche doctor ko dikhai aata hu ye to theek nahi ho raha and what does a doctor do doctor simply puts you uh, checks you understands the symptoms then more often than not will say a, a test maybe a blood test or an x-ray to understand accurately where the real problem is and so that we can then medicate you give you the right treatment to cure the problem ये दो तरीके हैं करियर में भी आई थिंक यही दो तरीके मुझे नजर आते हैं एक तो है जी कि घर वालों ने खुद ही देख लिया हमारे पास ना तो कोई सिस्टम था देखने का ऑब्जेक्टिवली कि बच्चे में क्या स्ट्रेंथ्स है क्या उसके इंटरेस्ट है वी हैव नो वे हमारे इंटरेस्ट कहाँ से बचलते हैं अवर यंगस्टर्स उनका बचपन से नो हाउ क्या है विच प्रोफेशन दे गेट टू सी टीचर्स आर वन प्रोफेशन दे गेट टू सी वेरी क्लोजली बचपन से बिकॉज पहला इंटरफेस उनका टीचर के साथ डॉक्टर्स को देखते हैं बहुत या शॉपकीपर्स को देखते हैं इसके अलावा ज्यादा प्रोफेशन अगर आपके फैमिली में कुछ दो चार प्रोफेशन के कोई लोग हैं आप उनको देखते हैं योर नो हाउ अबाउट करियर इज सो लिमिटेड वेर इज टूडे देर आर मोर देन टू थाउजेंड करियर ऑप्शन अगर मैं आप सबको बोलू ना कि आप बैठ के करियर लिस्ट करो तो आपकी लिस्ट ट्वेंटी से ऊपर नहीं जा पाएगी फॉर इवन दो आर वेरी अवेयर there are more than 2000 career options i don't even know about them forget about how to get into that career so meri know how itni limited hai main wohi char panch professions ko dekhta hu aur usse mein se decide karta rehta hu ye wala to bilkul nahi bachpan mein teacher banna tha jab tak bade hue dekha teacher bechare ko hum itna tang karte hain ye to nahi banna hai 
डॉक्टर डॉक्टर ठीक था लेकिन इतनी पढ़ाई करनी पड़ेगी ये तो नहीं बनना है रह गया कि इंजीनियरिंग रह गया किसी ने लॉयर को देखा हुआ है किसी ने चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट देखा हुआ है क्योंकि योर योर फैमिली गोस्ट और चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट ये दो तीन में से हम चूज कर रहे हैं आई थिंक देर इज मच मोर टू इट लेट अस एनालाइज यू ऑफ हु यू आर व्हाट योर स्ट्रेंथ्स आर एंड देन एंड आई डोंट थिंक इट शुड बी अ चॉइस आई थिंक एवरी सिंगल इंडिविजुअल इन क्लास 9 10 11 और 12 वंस एट लीस्ट यू मस्ट गो टू अ प्रोफेशनल डॉक्टर के पास जाओ जो उसको उस चीज का राइट इलाज कर सकते हैं जो राइट गाइडेंस दे सकते हैं घर बैठ के खुद ही नीम अकीम खतरे जान वाले काम मत करो बिकॉज दैट विल देन नॉट दैट यू कैन चेंज इट लेटर ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन चेंज लॉट ऑफ पीपल डू आई हैव चेंज फॉर करियर्स बट इट कम्स एट अ कॉस्ट नंबर वन माई पेरेंट्स कुड अफोर्ड इट दैट इज वाई आई कुड टेक दैट रिस्क नंबर टू इट कम्स एट अ कॉस्ट इट कम्स एट पर्सनल डिसेटिस्फेक्शन इतना लंबा आपकी जब कंटेम्प्रेरीज बहुत लेवल तक पहुंच चुके होते हैं आप अभी भी कहीं ना कहीं ग्रेजुएशन मास्टर्स में ही अटके पड़े होते हो तो वो इजी डिसीजन नहीं होता लाइफ के लिए सो इट इज बेटर जो स्टूडेंट्स देख रहे हैं हाई स्कूल वाले नौवीं से बारहवीं वाले आई थिंक द बेस्ट एज इज नाउ नाइन्थ वालो यू आर द बेस्ट टाइम यू हैव बिकॉज आपके पास चार साल होंगे अपने करियर के लिए तैयारी करने के लिए आपके पास एक स्ट्रेटेजिक एडवांटेज होगी अगर आप अब करियर काउंसिलिंग करवाते हैं अपने लिए तो आप चार साल उस पर मेहनत करके जब तक वो एंट्रेंस की बारी आएगी आप यू विल बी द मोस्ट एडवांटेज एंड मोस्ट स्किल्ड टू गेट इन टू दैट करियर सो एंड टू हेल्प यू ऑल वी हैव कम अप विद खोज करियर काउंसलिंग जहां पर हम एट वेरी इकोनॉमिकल रेट ऑनलाइन करियर काउंसलिंग कर रहे हैं आपके घर पे बैठे बैठे आपकी करियर काउंसलिंग हो रही है एंड वेरी इंटेंसिव करियर काउंसलिंग सिक्स आवर असेसमेंट प्रोसेस है उसके बाद आपके साथ एक घंटा यू एंड योर फैमिली वी विल हेल्प यू सी योर स्ट्रेंथ योर इंटरेस्ट योर अबिलिटीज योर मल्टीपल इंटेलिजेंसेज एंड देन प्लॉट योर करियर मैप जैसे सिमरन मैम वो टेलिंग की गूगल मैप का रास्ता तो वो पूरा मैप करके आपके साथ बैठेंगे सो दैट वी आर डूइंग एंड इफ एनी बडी इज इंटरेस्टेड यू हैव द नंबर ओवर देयर यू कैन राइट टू अस यू कैन सेंड अस एन ई मेल एट काउंसलिंग एट गेम ऑफ लाइफ डॉट को डॉट इन आई रिपीट Counseling at gameoflife.co.in. You can see it at the lower end of the screen. So you can send us an email if you want an appointment for that. But I think it's a critical process that we nobody should miss. So I think the importance of getting a career counseling done has been made quite enough. And the only thing we've talked about is shifting from a rigid perspective to a more open perspective, where yes. we're not just limited to the careers around that we see. just because we don't see it doesn't mean it's not there so we should also li- not just limit our career options to what our parents are doing or to what we've just seen we should explore more and that's how we'll explore more about ourselves so talking about exposure which is much needed so there's this new trend which we always talk about ki you know mere ko india mein nahi padhna hai mere ko jab bahar jana hai jana hai mujhe abroad jana hai be it as soon after 12th or mujhe post grad ke baad jana hai so what is your take on this ki because this is a very it's a trend now every people everyone around uh, around me when i was in 12 they already had uh, uh, kya kehte hain admissions ke liye kar diya tha ki maine to jana hai is university even if they didn't have an aim still they don't know ki ab mujhe graduation ke baad kya karna hai fir mujhe india se nikalna hai mujhe ghar se nikalna hai so what is your idea what is your view point on this whole debate between the education system between india and abroad So, what is this India versus abroad? Which is better, and which one is more beneficial, or is it just a myth? Uh, if I say India and abroad, if we look at Indian universities and we look at uh, you know the IITs, we look at Delhi uh, Technical University, Banaras Hindu University. These are the universities which uh, might not rank in the top twenty universities of the world, but still. they have produced best people if you look at uh, indra noi if you look at uh, uh, you know the ceo of google if i said count 10 ceos they are from iits and they are heading big fortune 500 companies so it means there are very good options in india also but it doesn't mean that uh, you know abroad is not good there are a lot of things as a family which you need to decide when a child is thinking of going abroad the first and the foremost thing is the finances because when you apply in a foreign university it is a uh, the 3 year 4 year process they have a undergrad which is for 4 years it's a very expensive process besides that 
there is boarding lodging food and then even if you come once in a year that adds on to the expense then they need a certain amount of security as a bank uh, in in your bank account which you need to show before entering into the university so if your finances you feel you can manage you can take a loan your family and you together can pay it back then only think of going abroad secondly if you want to think if you are thinking as a person if you want to settle abroad you want to take pr of that country then also going abroad is a good option thirdly uh you get to know yourself better it's a time to self discover see in our homes in india mostly you know parents they uh, they do so much for their children you know everything is provided for their child right from clothes washing and cooking and everything but there you have to manage everything yourself so nobody is there you don't you can't call your mama or papa help me out you have to do everything yourself so it's a time for self discovery also another very important aspect is uh there you will be with students of different countries different cultures sometimes you have to share an apartment or your room with them so you have to be open you know you cannot you know uh, you will have no options that you know i want uh, my uh, indian room partner or from an asian country It, you they don't look at all that they want you to live together so in case you are open for that then only go for a university abroad you will be very surprised ministry of external affairs uh, you know they had did a survey and they found that 752457 students went abroad in 2018 and the numbers is increasing every year so a it's like you get good salary packages that is what and you can earn as a student also because there are limited number of hours which you have to give to the university then in those free hours you can work and you can work at a departmental store you can work you know in a restaurant wherever there is an option for you so keeping that in mind in case you are open for all this then there is a set criteria for going to a foreign university you have to clear your examination for english each country has a different system for us it is sat for uh, canada you have to clear ielts you have to clear toefl most of the countries you have to do that and uh, so then once you go there then you are all by yourself sometimes children they come back also i would like to say you know uh, these days i have seen in most of the schools you know with peer pressure they want to go outside they feel why we can pay the home uh, we can pay the education loan it's very easy we'll earn and pay but remember sometimes you feel homesick also though we have you can connect through zoom skype calls everything but still that physical touch which your mom used to give that pat that hug you miss that so i would suggest that in case you go for post graduation you know that is much better because right now in the school you are in a cocoon where the teachers are there your parents are there they've always been around you so give those three years here three or four years depending on the course you get into that time you get to know college life you get to be more independent and then you can go for your higher studies abroad but indian universities are no less and being a professor in an indian university i can vouch for that <laughs> if i could add uh, uh, it is so true that uh, you should look at these criteria but i think let's also observe this attitude that we have today bahar kyu jana hai बिकॉज सब जा रहे हैं तो मुझे भी जाना है एंड हमें एक वो लाइफ स्टाइल ल्योर कर रहा है कि वहां पे जाके यू नो यू हैव दिस फैंसी कार्स यू कैन अफोर्ड यू कैन अफोर्ड अ हाउस वेरी सून बट व्हाट वी डोंट रियलाइज इज यू पे अ प्राइस फॉर एवरीथिंग यू हैव अ लोनली लाइफ यू डोंट हैव फैमिली यू डोंट हैव दोस काइंड ऑफ फ्रेंड्स यू डोंट हैव पीपल यू कैन फॉल बैक ऑन दैट्स नंबर 1 नंबर 2 इट लुक्स वेरी ल्योरिंग कि जो क्योंकि हमें क्या लगता है हम जब वो 75 के साथ मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं हम जब वो 100 के साथ मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं तो हमें लगता है इतने पैसे ये भूल जाते हैं वहां कमाते भी डॉलर में है और खर्चते भी डॉलर में है ये नहीं होता कि हम कमाएंगे डॉलर में और खर्चा रुपए में आगे करेंगे तो वो कन्वर्जन का कोई मतलब नहीं बनता है बट जस्ट बिकॉज वी कन्वर्टेड बी सी ओ इट इज वेरी फैंसी सो आई थिंक वी शुड लुक एट दैट नंबर थ्री वो जो मैम अभी बात कर रहे थे वॉट डू यू हैव टू डू ओवर देर वहां जाके 
हम अपने आप को सस्टेन करने के लिए क्या क्या करते हैं कितना हार्ड वर्क वो बच्चे करते हैं आई थिंक दे स्टडी दे वर्क एट आवर्स अ डे टू टू अफोर्ड दैट प्लेस दे आर स्टेइंग एट एंड देन दे हैव टू कम बैक एंड मेक इंटेंसिव इन्वेस्टमेंट इन असाइनमेंट्स इन इट्स नॉट इजी इट्स नॉट लाइक रट्टा लगाया पास हो गए वहां पे इट इज इट इज हार्ड वर्क यू स्वेट इट आउट तो तकरीबन 18 से 20 घंटे वो लोग काम करते हैं दे पुट दोस दोस ह्यूमन आवर्स एंड देन दे एक्सेल्स एंड वेयर आर दे वर्किंग यू सी दीस किड्स वहां पे जाके हम सब मैकडॉनल्ड्स में भी काम कर रहे होंगे पेट्रोल स्टेशंस में काम कर रहे होंगे क्लीनिंग कर रहे होंगे एंड वी विल बी ओके ऑफ डूइंग इट लेकिन जब हम यहां पर होते हैं हम इनमें से कोई काम करना पसंद नहीं करेंगे वी विल लुक एट दीस एज दीस आर सिली जॉब्स ये कौन करेगा ये नहीं कर सकते हमारी तो डिग्निटी लो हो जाती है लेकिन वहां जाके टॉयलेट उठ साफ करना और झाड़ू लगाना बिकम्स ओके बिकॉज यू गेट पेड फॉर इट सो आई एम जस्ट हेल्पिंग यू थिंक ये जो माइंडसेट है ना कि वहां जाके इजी है सक्सेसफुल नहीं इजी नहीं है वो बहुत हार्ड वर्क कर रहे हैं तब जाके एक लेवल ऑफ सस्टेनेबिलिटी तक पहुंच पा रहे हैं मुझे लगता है कोई भी यहाँ पर अगर उस माइंडसेट के साथ कि आई विल नॉट लुक एट व्हाट जॉब इज मीनियल व्हाट जॉब इज स्मॉल हम चाहते हैं हमारा इनिशियल पैकेज ही ना दस लाख का तो होना ही चाहिए इससे कम इनिशियल पैकेज में थोड़ी हम काम कर सकते हैं बट नॉट रियलाइजिंग वो वहां पे ना इतने तीन साल चार साल जो पढ़ाई करी है मैकडोनल्ड्स पे जो वो सीखा है the 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 way they have transformed themselves we are not ready to do that so i would highly recommend that if you can start taking summer jobs i think mcdonald's is a great place to start they take young people and and i think the kind of development you can have secondly jis career mein aap soch rahe hain ninth standard mein hai 10th standard mein jis career mein aap sochte hain ki ha yahan jaya ja sakta hai do a summer internship apne rishtedar dhoondo koi friend circle dhoondo jisme koi wo us profession mein hai and and connect with them and do summer internships like people over there are doing i think if you and i were starting to do that over here we will make success over here as well i think there's an attitudinal shift that is required far more than a country shift to succeed in life i think just that what motivates us to go abroad is that first of all parents nahi honge theek hai wo kuch nahi hoga dusra lagta hai ki you know we'll get hands on experience sab kuch ekdam hamare it will be at our disposal I I think yeah. everything that glitters is really not gold because yeah. I know I have such close friends who've gone outside and some of one of them came back ki mer, she was homesick she didn't miss nahi hua but what lured her into all of this was ki khud kamaungi khud karungi kuch sab khud karungi independence chahiye when we talk about being independent in india it doesn't work we really want to be protected we want everything at our disposal here itself so i think the take away from here is we have to match our uh, wants With what exactly suits for us, we shouldn't be driven by the idea that ये सब कर रहे हैं तो मुझे भी abroad जाना चाहिए. Mm. So moving on, now that we we realize that it's a very critical decision about career that we make. So now when we are choosing a career which is very uh, something which is very important, there are many major choices that we make. So one of those choices are, are the careers that we make. The shift from traditional, from the conventional to the unconventional careers. So, for example, the shift from the academic versus the professional courses. What is your say on that? What do you think? What will you comment on this? Because now this is a very ongoing topic right now. So, please throw some light upon the major choice which we make between the professional and the academic courses. Okay. Uh, now, uh, firstly, we need to understand what are professional courses and what are academic courses. Professional courses are those courses which train you give you hands on experience more of practical experience give an opportunity for internship and they make you job ready those are professional courses like i can say btech uh, masters in medicine mbbs bds lot of course course in hotel management any culinary skills or anything you are job ready after doing the professional course whereas an academic course is a graduation like i can say history honors english honors where the focus is more on the academic subjects mm-hmm. now here it can be focus on history or english they make you very sound in that subject and then after that doing a, a an academic course you can go for post graduation mphil phd and specialization in that they don't make you job ready you are more sound in the subject so there uh, but there is another advantage of academic courses see they uh, once you completed an academic course after that you still have more options for example if you've done english honors three year program now after that you have an option 
either you can go for journalism you can go for writing content in the books you can go you can opt for teaching profession you can opt in the newspaper for writing for editing lot of options are there so depending on that you can choose after 3 years so this is the main difference between academic courses and professional courses and professional course once you get into it then you don't have any option you don't have too many options so once you've got into medicine then it means you can do specialization in that but you can't get into journalism or teaching yes you can get into teaching also of that course but you have to do your post graduation you have to do your phd then only you can be sound in that subject as a professor of that particular subject so this is the major difference between academic and professional subjects so depending on how much time you want to give if you just want to be job ready and yes another thing very important thing is professional courses mostly they have an entrance exam and here academic courses the admission is based mostly on the merit that is class 12 marks what you get so depends on if you have your uh, you feel that you can qualify an entrance you can crack an entrance then only you start preparing so as you know going back from where we started we need to be very clear about our goal as sindan penji said so we need to be very clear that where we want to proceed and yes there are various ways uh, academic courses give you an opportunity like google map shows you two three ways you know so here also you get a option that you know if i want to go for uh, xyz i can go after an academic course also you can go for civil services also so lot of options are there so depending on your interest you can opt for it and then decide where you want to go great uh, and i think also when we talk about the major choices we also talk about the vocational courses the high risk careers and the short term careers so what do you say about it what is your opinion on this amneet ma'am you want to add um i i would say for high risk careers um, what do we mean by high risk careers uh, कुछ ऐसे करियर्स हैं लाइफ में जो शॉर्ट टर्म है या जो जो बहुत रेयर चांस होता है टू गेट थ्रू लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ यंग बॉयज आई नो आर आर टेम्प्टेड बाय द करियर ऑप्शन ऑफ क्रिकेट दे लव क्रिकेट दे लव क्रिकेटर्स दे लव द लाइफस्टाइल एंड दे ऑल प्ले क्रिकेट डिसेंटली वेल इन इन देयर नेबरहुड्स यू नो सो दे ऑल ड्रीम दैट आई विल बिकम अ क्रिकेटर but let's do a statistical analysis that out of as many people who wish to get into cricket at the end there are only 11 people or 13 people playing in the team and thanks to okay now you have a uh, 2020 match and there'll be five seven teams and and that will make 100 people at one time playing out of the population that we are only as many those 100 people will get through it yeah and that also we know that it happens through a lot of influence than only merit right similarly acting I mean, how many people stand outside a jalsa, you know, waiting to watch, uh, say, a Namita Bachchan or a Shah Rukh Khan, and they they fancy that we will be able to reach that. Just Bollywood, we will get a chance to get that. Or in a TV series, we will get a chance to get that because it looks so glamorous. The screen looks so nice. You look pretty. You look handsome. You wear nice, lovely clothes. You get the money. Of course, we always forget the side of the story. We forget that they don't have enough sleep for four hours. Or they sleep on the footpath for so many years. And then they get a chance to get a rise and shine. But how many will they get? How many will get there? If we look at TV series, one actor who is very popular in a series, he will also come to two series after two series. Because there are so many people coming in and you will quickly be replaced. So these are very short term careers, mostly. high risk careers and i still remember yuvraj singh once said ki thaat tab tak hai jab tak balla chal raha hai and the moment he said that ad he was hit with cancer and thereby his career completely shifted so ye jo high risk careers hai jinme andar ghusna pehle to bahut mushkil hai agar ghus bhi gaye to ye kitni der tak rahenge aapke paas ye bahut uncertain hai lekin iska matlab ye bilkul nahi hai ki hum ye pursue na kare इसका मतलब ये बिल्कुल नहीं है कि अगर आप में कुछ बात है तो आप बस अभी से छोड़ दें बिकॉज नहीं नहीं इसका तो कोई फायदा नहीं है परस्यू जरूर करें अगर इफ यू हैव सीन द ड्रीम इफ यू हैव द एबिलिटी सबसे पहले तो एबिलिटी टेस्ट जरूर करें कि एम आई रियली गुड एट इट अगर स्पोर्ट्स में जाना चाहते हैं एक्टिंग में जाना चाहते हैं किसी लेवल पर कुछ तो अचीव किया होगा ना अभी तक यू मस्ट हैव डन समथिंग अराउंड दीज करियर्स अगर अभी तक गली में ही खेल रहे हो एंड यू आर एन एटीन ईयर ओल्ड 
then i'm sorry to say the chances are very little that you will get through it yes but i by the age of 11 12 if you recognize that yes i have it in me and then you start being a part of your cricket team in school then you are starting to play at a state level you go for professional coaching and nazar aa raha hai ki us coaching system mein main bahut aage se lead kar raha hu these are indicators that you have some chance to make it to over there otherwise pursue them pursue them as a hobby they are excellent ways to de stress and recharge yourself but don't look at them as full time careers but if you are excelling in them aap aage aage badhte ja rahe hain you are able to cross those boundaries then while you are doing that i would still say because they are high risk careers have your backup options ready ye jab circus mein jaate hain na to wo dekhte hain wo rope pe walk kar rahe hote hain and i am amazed wo kaise kar pate hain wo isliye kar pate hain kyunki niche ek safety net hoti hai and they know agar upar se niche gir bhi gaye तो हमें वो सेफ्टी नेट संभाल लेगी वी नीड टू मेक श्योर इन दीज हाई रिस्क करियर्स लाइक एक्टिंग लाइक स्पोर्ट्स और देर आर फ्यू मोर लाइक अब आजकल एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स टू बी यूट्यूबर नया प्रोफेशन आ गया है हम सबको यूट्यूब से पैसा कमाना है देर आर मिलियंस ऑफ यूट्यूबर्स मिलियंस ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस एंड देर आर हैंड फुल ऑफ पीपल हु आर एबल टू मेक मनी आउट ऑफ इट सो इफ यू आर बैकिंग ऑन दिस एज अ फुल टाइम करियर एंड यूट्यूबर की लाइफ एवरेज लाइफ स्पैन छह आठ महीने एक साल से ज्यादा नहीं होगा सो so, आप इस पे अगर बैकअप कर रहे हैं तो आई थिंक वो क्रैश करेगा और अगर सेफ्टी नेट नहीं हुई तो चोट लगेगी इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट कि आप वो सेफ्टी नेट अपने बैकअप ऑप्शन कोई ना कोई पैरल करियर यू नो मोस्ट क्रिकेटर्स मोस्ट आर्टिस्ट इन बॉलीवुड दे हैव पैरल बिजनेस इज रनिंग दे आर डूइंग जॉब जो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की तरफ से कुछ प्रोफेशन में जुड़े हुए हैं सो so, Always run a parallel career. ठीक है आप पूरा investment करें in your in your skill in in what you want is what is your dream. But have something which is a second option for you, which is your backup plan. कि अगर वहाँ पर बल्ला रुक गया तो at least I can come back and do this. And this is also equally meaningful for me, and I will still enjoy doing it. So be very mindful with the risky careers. So I think while we're talking about the major choices, पहली चीज़ जो हमारे हाथ में to make a good decision, a mindful decision. But if the choice we make goes wrong, then we know we should have a backup, which is a very good point which has been made. You want to add? And I, I think I think I think vocational courses पर थोड़ा सा हमें बात ज़रूर करना चाहिए uh, because that's the new thing. I think this is a new buzzword in town, which is vocational courses. And I think Simran Ma'am's uh, got a lot of understanding of this. So, uh, when we come to vocational courses, what do vocational courses mean? Uh, vocational courses are the courses which impart industry-specific skills. Now, the beauty of this is, you know, uh, there was a planning commission uh, survey that was carried out way back in two thousand and eight, and it was found that uh, India made ten percent of the uh, workforce that India has only ten percent. of them are skilled they are eligible they are that skilled in that particular profession that they are into and when this data was compared with other countries like japan japan the percentage was 80% and in uh, south korea it was 90% so that's the time when uh, you know there was a need for vocational courses uh, found out and uh, government is st- started Uh, moving in this direction uh, trying to impart as many vocational skills or giving these courses uh, to as many kids as possible now here we have children from 9th to 12th you would be very surprised to know that hum logon ko kafiyon ko pata bhi nahi hoga ki cbse hame 40 vocational courses provide karti hai there are 40 vocational courses which are provided by cbse at From tenth to twelfth level, अभी आपने अगर N I O S के बारे में सुना होगा National Institute of Open Schooling, they provide there's a list of more than seventy vocational courses which they provide and they provide from class eighth onwards. And the main premise of these vocational courses is कि आप अपने academics पे भी ध्यान रखते रहो साथ के साथ जितनी आपकी अगर आपको Uh, ये डिसाइड किया है कि आगे आपने करियर क्या चूज करना है आपने पाथ क्या लेना है इफ यू हैव दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू कैन इन्वेस्ट योर वीकेंड्स इन दीज स्किल बेस्ड प्रोग्राम्स एज वेल नाउ 
अगर मैं ड्यूरेशन की भी बात करूं ड्यूरेशन में भी हम लोगों को इतना बुफे ऑफर किया हुआ है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अ वन मंथ इंटर वन मंथ स्किल बेस्ड सर्टिफिकेट प्रोग्राम टू अप्रोक्सीमेटली थ्री इयर्स सो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट अभी काफी फोकस कर रही है एंड आई वुड वॉन्ट नाइन्थ टू ट्वेल्थ इज अ पर्सनल रिक्वेस्ट टू एवरी वन टू सी वॉट यू वॉन्ट वॉट योर गोल इज एंड इन्वेस्ट दिस टाइम इन वॉट एवर वोकेशनल कोर्सेज यू कैन अभी दिस अ गुड न्यूज दैट एन आई ओ एस एंड इग्नू दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग ऑनलाइन वोकेशनल कोर्सेज एज वेल सो यू कैन एनरोल एंड इनकी एडमिशन ऑल थ्रू द ईयर चलती रहती है यू कैन एनरोल इन दैम इन एनी मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम यू कैन गेट दिस स्किल दे हैव ऑनलाइन क्लासेज अगर वो इंटर्नशिप बेस्ड है तो अभी आई वॉज रीडिंग समेव सेट की लॉकडाउन में उसके बाद आपको ऑनलाइन उससे स्किल दिखा देंगे बट हैंड्स ऑन आफ्टर लॉकडाउन दे मेक श्योर दैट दे गिव यू दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी एज वेल सो व्हेन यू हैव टाइम इन हैंड यू कैन श्योरली सर्टनली इन्वेस्ट इन दीज एंड इसमें जो डिग्रीज uh, जो हम लोगों के सर्टिफिकेशंस वगैरह होती है दे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सर्टिफिकेट कोर्सेज टू डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज देर ऑल्सो कोर्सेज एट बैचलर्स लेवल एंड मास्टर्स लेवल and uh, there is one uh, college in uh, there is one uh, center of delhi university which is just dealing in vocational courses so that's delhi university center of vocational studies and uh, you know the amount of depth of streams the courses that they are providing i would want to give an overview of that as well starting from technical uh, courses that they are providing टू टेक्निकल में जैसे इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग हो गया टेली कम्युनिकेशन हो गया कंप्यूटर साइंसेज दीज आर सर्टन कोर्सेज दैट दे प्रोवाइड इन दे लॉट मेनी मोर इन द टेक्निकल फील्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट कॉमर्स दे इज ऑफिस मैनेजमेंट इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड मैनेजमेंट मार्केटिंग सर्विसेज एंड ऑल दीज यू नो एट सर्टिफिकेट लेवल एट डिप्लोमा लेवल दे आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ टेंथ स्टूडेंट्स इज वेल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर दीज फील्ड you want to have a taste of these fields as avneet ma'am just pointed out some time back that if you want you can enroll in internships so you know these courses again are uh, very very uh, dema- in demand because they are give- training they are giving those skills for uh, they are giving the taste of what my work life would be like what all skills would be required when i start working and it helps you to firm on your career decision making it helps you firm on the choices that you make uh, apart from uh, commerce there are also uh, various vocational courses provided in health services which includes paramedics it includes courses in dietitian nutrition all these courses which are again provided and there are lot many courses in creative field fashion designing beauty care catering technology there's also courses in pottery making uh and uh, there's also a lot of stress in uh, in agriculture department so you know uh, bee keeping fisheries these are vocational courses that the government is providing so uh, and uh, you know at this time i feel this time the iron is hot and we've got this time in our hand wherein there's a lockdown and there's no school and i feel like one can enroll in these online courses which uh, nios is providing or ignu is providing and uh, you can you make best use of your time right i think it's so great to come across this because we always thought internships and vocational courses is something which comes after we've done 12th <laughs> even while being in school we can get the much needed ex- exposure which we think you know ki way jo we talked about india versus abroad the exposure we put by going abroad ke internship mein karenge these are the courses which help us give the ex- much needed exposure and the practical experience yeah so i would like nice. to add i would like to add to what uh, simran ji has said just now see uh, if you uh, like there are many courses which are available online not only in india but outside also means abroad there are uh, universities which op- uh, which are open for uh, stu- indian nationalities also and students can enroll in these courses online and there some of them are free of course they, uh, if you look at any universities website you have to search for oer open educational resources you have to enroll in that course most of the courses are free of cost but in case you need to get a certificate then you have to uh, pay a minimum amount for that and you can get the certificate after completion of the course so that is another option you know which is available 
Yeah, one more option. Thank you, uh, Dr. Jasmeet. I just also remembered a one more option in this uh, field as, uh, as well. So there's this uh, edX, which is a MOOC uh, uh, course, which is run by all the universities globally. So, you know, there are various courses in this uh, edX uh, MOOC, wherein, uh, you know, some courses are provided by Stanford, some are provided by Chinese universities, Japanese university, University of New Zealand. So there's a lot many, uh, there's an intensive list of courses provided there. There's no uh, age criteria there. It is just based on uh, how you want to hone your skills or want to know in-depth knowledge, you can apply for these international courses as well. Yeah. And now we have a live question, which I, so we're getting many live questions. One of them is, uh, ma'am, I've opted for non-medical. Please tell me what are the career opportunities in that? Uh, so one, uh, we will have uh, the next seminar series will have stream-based career options and stream-based webinars where we'll pick up uh, each stream and we'll talk at length about it. But if you've taken up non-medical, I first want to let you know, don't bottle tight yourself right now. Ab hamesha laterally bhi zaroor dekhe. Of course, ek us stream ke kuch careers hai. For example, if I have non-medical, non-medical does not equal to AI triple E. Sabse pehle to ye apna mind wash kare. PCM is not that I an engineer and I can an engineer. This is the most weird way to live in life because I have taken this. And the I think that many of us who choose the stream and then see what to do with career. I should have to go to We should have first seen where I want to go. As Simran Nam said, where I want to go, what to do with career, and which subjects are related to the subjects I should take. तो वो होना चाहिए दूसरा एक स्ट्रीम बहुत से करियर्स में लेके जाती है व्हेन वी लुक एट नॉन मेडिकल इटसेल्फ पीसीएम इज माय चॉइस सो पीसीएम गिव्स मी अ प्लेथोरा ऑफ चॉइसेस इन फ्यूचर नॉट ओनली लिमिटिंग टू साइंस फील्ड बट अदर फील्ड्स एज वेल सो पहले तो उसी फील्ड की बात कर ले सो इंजीनियरिंग के अलावा आसपास उसके बहुत सारे अलाइड वर्क चीजें हैं वी हैव आर्किटेक्चर व्हिच रिक्वायर्स द सेम स्किल सेट देन एरोस्पेस then pure sciences, physics, chemistry, mathematics. I can I can be working in those areas. I can also be working in merchant navy. Defense me jana hai, it's a very good choice. Agar mujhe marketing me jana hai, to bhi mujhe management me jana hai, to bhi mujhe ye PCM ke saath mein management combine karke it becomes a win-win situation. So so ek to mere usi usi field mein then mathematics ke saath mein bas kya kya choices aa rahi hai. Economics becomes uh, the future. Pure mathematics me agar mere research karta hoon, to data analytics becomes the future. Computer science ka bahut bada field hai, jo PCM wale options ke saath mere liye khul jata hai. If you are interested in computer science so there are a lot of choices and i think you should look at that but don't limit yourself PCM and, and and that's because we don't understand ourselves so well yeah ek bada common criteria hota hai 10th mein number acche aa gaye ab kaise aa gaye and we all know 10th mein marks lana so ek exam pehli baat to is not reflective of your ability ye main sare bachcho and parents se request karna chahti hu that your 10th score I, I, I hope the government doesn't take me uh, at task for this statement, but one board result exam does not tell you your ability, does not tell you your strengths, does not tell you what you're good at. Bohat sare bachon ko mein jaanti ho, jo bohat achche hai, kabil hai, lekin unke 10th ke score achche nahi aai. Unko bhi mein bohat sare bachon ko jaanti ho, jinke 10th ke score bade achche aagai, par unme wo capability kabhi thi nahi, par wo achcha, uh, unko exam skills achche se aate the, so they were able to crack the 10th very well. And I know so many kids who tenth results se pehle soch rahe I think maybe commerce uh, science is not for me. And science mein ninety three percent marks aage, and they said there you go. Ab to science hi karna hai because ninety three percent marks aage. Acha tenth ka science and eleventh ka science jo ab eleventh mein hai, wo dekh pa rahe honge ke oh my god, ye kya ho gaya? <laughs> ye matlab yese bachon ko lollipop dikha ke tenth mein easy tha aur eleventh mein wo itna intense pre engineering mathematics and physics and chemistry ke baat hai. So we start rocking. So I think one, do not just jump into science because you got good marks. Think about what I want to do in future. If you have taken PCM, then also now you realize, like I later realized that I was a people's person. 
and much later i discovered that i will not pursue my scientific career i will not pursue my career in computers i will pursue my career in education and uske baad mujhe samajh mein aaya i would want to do psychology so you can switch pcm ke sath aapke paas ek choice hai aap duniya ke mostly courses kar sakte hain lekin admissions thodi si difficult ho jati hai agar aapne 12th mein for example pcm liya and like just neet ma'am had told us that many, many courses will be based on merit ab jab aap merit pe aayenge to aapke liye cut off alag hoga because you're changing the stream so now you will be at a disadvantage even if you have a 90% score and there's another humanities kids who has a 90% score that kid may be preferred when it's a humanities course because they probably were more focused and then they will be given an advantage and your cut off will be slightly different so ek ko disadvantage to rahega but fir bhi option hai you can switch post graduation ke level pe i think bahut bahut log graduation ke baad switch karte hain तो मुझे लगता है कि ये स्विच करना हम ऑप्शन जरूर रखें टू परस्यू वट आई रियली वॉन्ट टू परस्यू लाइफ में जब भी कभी समझ में आ जाए ना चाहे एट दी एज ऑफ 19 समझ में आए चाहे 25 समझ में आए चाहे 35 आए और चाहे 55 आए आई थिंक जिस दिन समझ में आ गया ना कि जो मैं कर रहा हूँ ये मेरे लिए नहीं है और मुझे कुछ और एक्सप्लोर करना चाहिए आई थिंक वी मस्ट गिव अवर सेल्फ अ चांस इन दैट Yeah, I think very rightly said. I think we again had that very uh, rigid perspective. That now the career, the stream I've chosen is something which I have to do for the rest of my life, even if I'm not happy in it. So I think the answer has the question has been answered. And again, we have a live question, which is that uh, what all are the professional courses available for IGCSE or IB students in India? And this is exactly the question which I was going to put across. That <laughs> how do you think that the children who Have opted for IB board. Have an advantage over the children from the other boards, and how does it affect the career opportunities or the career prospects of the children who are from IB board? Uh, okay, I'll just start with. First of all, uh, let me just give an overview uh, to our audience here what IB board is and what IGSC board is. Uh, let's start with IB board. IB board uh, is a board which has started. by geneva uh and uh, you know it's a board which is focused lot on uh, analytical thinking lot on skill based uh, learning and lot of interdisciplinary approach that they give uh ib board uh, curriculum you know is divided as we have in cbse classes grades so here we have three programs one is primary year program which is from class kg to 5 then we have middle year programs and then we have diploma programs middle year program is from 6th to 10th and diploma program is for uh, is similar to 11th to 12th that's a two year program now uh, we need to understand here that uh, not many schools in our country so there, there are around 100 plus schools which are providing us with ib board but uh, they are present mainly in tier 1 cities the, their presence is not across the country mm-hmm. so they are there only in tier 1 uh, cities and uh, you know also that uh, i'm just giving a basic o- overview about what ib board is like now uh, also uh, so as in cbsc after 10th we've got stream selection that i would go in medical i would go in uh, commerce stream non medical stream sciences stream commerce stream or humanities stream here we've got uh, you know various uh, grades or va- sorry various uh, themes wherein we choose Uh, thing so one is language theme that we have to we have a choice in it could be first level language second lang- uh, second language or an international language yeah. then apart from that we've got uh, sciences stream uh, we have got mathematics stream we've got social sciences stream and then we've got electives electives are you know there's uh, visual arts plus we can choose one more subject from these now uh, why i'm explaining this because this i will take up uh, when i take up future prospects also now uh, what happens is that you have five six subjects wherein you choose subjects from these groups these groups of subject so if i have sciences there would be three subjects in this there will be physics there will be chemistry there will be biology in the first group we choose only one subject through electives we can choose one more subject out of it 
and then uh, you know there's lot of work on analytical things there's lot lot of uh, work on uh, training you for researchers so that all is a part of curriculum when we talk about ib boards now uh, moving on to where uh, you know ib boards are uh, when we talk about international universities majority nearly all international universities uh, ib board is affiliated with all universities and in india also uh, there are various universities which accept the ib board child who's passed 12th they accept that also for example when we talk about uh, courses in delhi university in university of mumbai christ in bangalore and then we have ashoka university uh, so these are various universities which accept uh, children from ib board so uh, ashoka universities accept as it is but the other universities uh, especially where they are credit based entries so they convert ib score so the ib score is from 1 to 7 they convert it into uh, cpsc percentile and they have a table for that that's how they convert and they take in admission now there are two important aspects to keep in mind for ib students number one that their results are declared in two cycles one is january the other is july now uh, mostly you know after 12th if you come in the july cycle uh, for major universities in india admissions are closed till then uh, and you know the universities i named uh, delhi university university of mumbai christ ashoka they do give a provisional admission based and uh, you know there's some uh, thing wherein uh, ib board before the result they also give you a uh, predicted score your what is your predicted score based on your entire your uh, performance so these universities take admissions on these predicted score but again the admission uh, is they want their the result for the admission to be valid so that happens uh, you know at other this thing also but all other universities within india have that uh, challenge so wherein they want the results to be out before they take you in now moving on to the question on professional courses uh, when i gave you an insight on the uh, groups of subject which you choose from now uh, ib board allows in your uh, dp pro which is diploma program which allow it allows you six subjects you are graded based on these six uh, core groups that you have taken so may it be language may it be social sciences may it be sciences mathematics and uh, you know electives if you've taken now if you have uh, if you want to do medical for medical you would need all three subjects of sciences which is physics chemistry and biology now if you take physics as a main group subject if you take chemistry in electives for chemistry uh, biology you have to do a seventh extra subject but that you need to have it when you enroll in your diploma program because that's a mandate for uh, professional co if i talk about neat that is a mandate that you need to have all these three courses in hand before you apply for that so if again if you are entering into dp program you need to be very clear if you want to do medicine because then you would have to study this seventh extra subject first of all now uh, secondly uh, again uh, when i talk about other professional courses for example jee and all there is no uh, mention that ib student cannot appear so they consider ib students equivalent to other uh, uh, boards only so they accept eligibility criteria is there but you need to also understand about the depth of study that you've done in ib board vis-a-vis what is the demand of these professional courses entrances because professional courses in india admission is based only on entrances so if you have that match about where you are and what is expected in the entrance if you are very clear on that i feel there should be no uh, problem there and similar uh, igse it's just the board is uh, london based or cambridge based uh, apart from that they are very similar in uh, both their prospects so i guess i've covered uh, both i think you've given a lot of valuable information and i hope 
uh, the viewers who asked this must have benefited a lot. We have a lot of live questions coming in, but before that, the questions we already have, we'll get on to them. So the famous question that we all have is ki, how to be successful. Wo career konsa chune jisse ideally jo chahiye wo bhi mil jaye or success bhi mil jaye. We all are chasing success, aren't we? So this is a question which has come from many people ki, how do I match my ideal color, career and become successful with it? So I think uh, <laughs> we all want, uh, success means different things to different people, first of all. Please define success for you. Is it money? Is it lifestyle? Is it power? Is it the freedom to be able to move around and express yourself? What would success mean to you? I think a very deep understanding of that to begin with. Second, um, let's talk about very, very um, physical, worldly level success that, okay, I, I make it to the top, whatever profession I take. I think today when we live in a competitive world, everything is skill-based. Chai wo entrance exam pehla filtration process hai, jahan pe bahut saare wo log jinme kisi na kisi level pe wo aapko inept dekhte hai, aap aap wahan se filter out ho jayenge. Secondly, jab aapko promotions ki baat karenge, jab jobs ki baat karenge, wahan pe filter down honge, promotions ke time pe filter down honge. What gives me the edge, I think is always the additional skills I have been honing. Like I've been talking about that if you're a school student, I will highly recommend that we've talked about many courses that you can do online in the lockdown. A lot of international universities have opened even more courses for you. Uh, many, many companies have opened courses for you, which are free of course. Please up me awareness behind. You guys are more tech savvy than me and other panelists over here are. You guys know where to search for data. Please go search for your career stream. Please search what courses are available free of cost and you will find them and let's do it. Number two, you guys understand how social networking works. Now there's one similar social networking which happens on LinkedIn, which is, which is more professional in nature. Now you are thinking that I have to do CA, for instance. And I don't know if there is a CA in family. How do I do? Now there are in LinkedIn there are associations. You can find people who are chartered accountants and you can send them message and say, I want to know more about this career. Can you help me? Facebook has most uh, professions have their own uh, organizations that are running on Facebook. Uh, they are licensing where they network across the globe and they kind of socialize over those. And, and you could connect with them and ask them questions about this particular career and I want to know more and people will be readily answering. I think where you friends and dates, if you want to take a career seriously, then that can be in social media. Please do that. Number three, I think the key difference. Okay, one thing I want to say to the youngsters is, if you are looking for a hard work shortcut, which means that you think that I may not have to put in the human hours, I may not have to put in effort and I can succeed and rise to the top, um, I'm sorry, but from the rickshaw puller on the road to the Ambani's in the world are working hard and are putting in a lot of effort. The only difference is that maybe a person at a very lower level of strata in society or a job which is semi-skilled uh, may not be working on so much of improvisation. But today even we see, like in Delhi, for instance, we've seen e-ricks coming in, we've seen them also improvising. I think it's constantly improvising yourself. Can I, can I start looking at what can I be doing better? How can I make it more effective? So that mental attitude is the key difference and you must shape that attitude for yourself. And, and that is why we are running a course which is called Rahau and which is exactly about knowing yourself and shaping your attitude, your mindset shift that is required to be able to succeed in life. Whether it is struggling with low self-esteem, whether it is constant comparison with others that I make, whether it is because of my emotions I get carried away. These personal skills, which are about myself, when you hone them, then nothing can stop you. Because jitna ab niche deep jayenge na, jise kya tha na, ped kitna upar ja sakta hai. Ek building, ek, ek jo hume skyscraper nazar aata hai, wo kitna upar ja sakta hai, wo utna hi upar ja sakta hai, jitna wo niche gaya hai pehle. How deep it went. Whether a tree, the taller trees have very deep roots. The tall skyscrapers have very deep foundations that they have laid. Only then they can rise. I think this course is exactly that course which takes you deep within so that the more deep you go and connect with yourself and are able to transform your mind. My dear, the battle is not physical. The battle is mental. 
आज हमारी जिंदगी की हर बैटल माइंड से खेली जाएगी और अगर हमारे पास वो माइंडफुलनेस नहीं होगी तो शायद हम इन बैटल्स में हारना शुरू कर देंगे पीछे रहना शुरू कर देंगे सो वी आर हेल्पिंग यू गो डाइव डीप विद इन establish your strong foundation through this online course in the next one month which is sitting at the comfort of your house you transform your mindset and so that you are able to get the edge over the others taki jab do log same caliber ki apply kare chahe wo ek course ke liye chahe wo ek interview ke liye lekin jiske paas wo extra factor hoga na wo chuna jayega aur ye hum aapko help kar rahe hain wo extra factor develop karne ke liye which will become the game changer for you right so i think the take away which we can certainly see from what he said is we define our own success absolutely and that means should be open to constantly changing yeah. looking for opportunities and grab one and that's my that might just yeah. take us ahead and this course is starting tomorrow so the good news is you still have the last chance to enroll the number is given below you can take down the number take down a screenshot and you can apply for the course here's your last chance all right so uh, let's move on to the next question so uh, this is a very relevant question as well because now we see there is a growing growing trend of tuitions tuitions and dummy admissions that from class 9th onwards the uh, children are made to think ki tumhe tuitions bhi manage karni hai tumhe school bhi manage karna hai you have to cope up with both of them and the the other branch to uh, from this is the dummy admissions that you get admissions in dummy schools where you don't need to attend the school but you can focus on the tuition so do you think this trend is right or it is negatively impacting the impacting the children or what is it what, what are your comments on this by the way uh, i know of uh, college schools uh, that are giving preparing you for engineering in class 1 onwards so there are coaching centers class 1 se wo aapko engineering aur iit ki taiyari karwa rahe hain by the way <laughs> <laughs> i think so that's a joke you know must be doing with the puzzles and all uh, you know must be building up their analytical skills anyway jokes apart uh, yes uh, you have rightly said there is lot of focus on tuitions and a lot of uh, coaching centers are there which have mushroomed and there are cities i would say not only a few coaching centers there are cities which are which have blossomed and uh, students have uh, you know left their uh, Uh, hometown and have uh, taken a pg accommodation there they are staying there for 3 4 years just to crack the iit je or the neat exam so i would say that in case once you are clear you want to enroll uh, you want to go for a professional course you want to go for engineering you want to go for medical then of course you need extra help besides your cbsc syllabus besides your cbsc curriculum for that you can get yourself enrolled for a coaching class which is over the weekend so that there is the balance between what is going on in the school and what is going on in the coaching center because school is also very important if you see for the holistic development of the child there are so many activities which are taking place there are so many things which you are not getting on in case you are just enrolled because there is so much of pressure and not only pressure coaching centers have also given good incentives in case you get a uh, first position in neat or je we will give you 1 crore and uh, you know if you get first 10 rank if you are in first 10 then you will get 10 lakhs so all those things they are attracting children because then uh, there are students who are uh, uh, average or little above average the parents know that they are not the ones who will be able to crack or will be able to get in the first 100 rank but still they are being pushed by their parents for this coaching and it's a madness there from morning sorry this coaching centers if somebody is watching they would say because children are there from morning 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock and then again you know they are uh, given assignments they have uh, to do papers once they go back and uh, they have uh, you know hired places where they are one um, you know four students are sharing a room so that pressure has uh, built up in the uh, children and they feel very pressurized at times so uh, the idea of uh, coaching is good but to a limit excess of everything is bad you know sometimes it might lead to depression also once if you are not able to uh, crack you know and i have seen students dropping Three three years to crack the NEET and the JEE exam. So uh, we should not push a student 
we should not push as parents you should not push your child to that extent that they leave everything what's going on and just be so focused you know that the coaching center is the only thing in life so they have to see the other things because other things are also very important like physical physical development of the child you need to do some exercises in the morning you need to be fresh you need to socialize also not on the uh, facebook and other but you need to meet your teachers you need to need, need to meet your friends your relatives also so a limited period of time but yes you have to be sincere after whatever you got from the coaching center you need to practice you need to refer to other books and you need to give your best in the first attempt only so like you just uh, yes ma'am if, if i could just add i think if you are having to add so much extra pressure ki main normal school life chhod ke normal social life chhod ke matlab main sirf uske liye taiyari kar raha hu that means kahin na kahin wapas main dhyan yahan pe le ja rahi hu ki shayad ek ek rhombus star banne ki koshish mein अपने आप को इतना प्रेशराइज और फोर्स कर रहा है कि मैं कहीं ना कहीं घुस जाऊं दैट डज रिफ्लेक्ट इट्स नॉट व्हाट यू आर कल्ड आउट फॉर एंड यू आर नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन योर की कॉम्पिटेंस योर की स्ट्रेंथ यू आर ट्राइंग टू फिट योर सेल्फ इन वरना एक नॉर्मल बैलेंस लाइफ के साथ विद दैट अमाउंट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क बिकॉज यू हैव दैट कॉम्पिटेंसी विद दैट लिटिल हार्ड वर्क एंड अ वीक एंड सपोर्ट सिस्टम फ्रॉम अ कोचिंग but you remember it is all about self learning aur wo self learning ka time hi nahi milta because the kids who are in these coaching centers and running 8 hours of coaching and if you imagine you'll come back and you'll still be engrossing books when well, you need a breather you're not able to cope up and i know of so many youngsters who have broken down i think ek ek statistic aur main highlight karna chahti hu whilst with all due credit to our iits and iims and aims where our very bright children land up let us see the trends a lot of depression and suicide and drugs is a key problem these institutes are facing and why because the mental health of these children who have landed there after these coaching centers and now they are find they are struggling with it now they are not able to cope with the pressure now they don't know how to socialize how to be with friends because they never did that for the last 3 years they find it so difficult to deal with life ki main professionally to taiyar ho raha hu lekin mujhe life jeene nahi aa rahi hai and wahan par shayad isliye इतना सुसाइड रेट हाई है डिप्रेशन रेट हाई है शायद यही यही बता रहे हैं कि जब इम्बैलेंस होगा ना लाइफ में तो हम खुशहाल जिंदगी तो डेफिनेटली नहीं जी पाएंगे and i think one thing that uh, just meet ma'am just mentioned that the role of parents in all of this the mentality uh, which we have is so till what extent influenced by our parents if they tell us tuitions are good for us then we will think they are good for us so talking about the role of parents what is your opinion on how much uh, role should the parents play in the career decision in the decision of what to do what stream to take because since the parents want to control us to be honest they really do want to do some <laughs> but they think what they think is right for us has to be right for us so what is your opinion on to what extent is this right or should they control the whole decision making what a profound question i must say <laughs> coming straight from your heart it seems <laughs> it is so true parents i i think parents intent is not wrong they want to make they want the best for us they want us to rise and shine they want us to be happy but what they don't realize is that just because they uh, were put through a system and a process i think hum sab ek to as parents as indians hum sab apne maa baap ka khwahishein jee rahe hain मेरे मम्मी पापा जो नहीं कर पाए वो मैं कर रहा हूँ जो मैं नहीं कर पाया वो मैं अपने बच्चों से करवाऊंगा तो हर जनरेशन पिछली जनरेशन के ख्वाब पूरे कर रही है मुझे लगता है एक जनरेशन अब यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा सेल्फ सेक्रीफाइस करे अपने ख्वाबों की और अपने बच्चों को जीने दे अपनी जिंदगी वन नंबर टू बहुत क्रिटिकल रोल है पेरेंट्स का इफ इफ यू आर हियर एज एज ए स्टूडेंट प्लीज लेट योर पेरेंट्स सी दिस वेबिन टूडे मेक श्योर दिस सिट डाउन मतलब आज तो जबरदस्ती बिठाओ If you are a parent, I want to request you two things. Two things. One, as a parent, you are the best judge of your child. आप सबसे ज़्यादा time spend करते हैं बच्चे के साथ. आपकी intent है बच्चे के लिए best सोचना. Please analyze करना शुरू करें. What are the core strengths? नज़र आ रहा होता है बच्चा maths में रगड़ रहा है. बच्चे की दो-दो tuition लगवा के उसको maths pass करा रहे हैं. लेकिन फिर भी सपना engineering का देख रहे हैं. ये realistic नहीं है. 
let's have realize let's understand the core competency of the child and you know it as a parent but many times we are driven by ego many times we are driven by kyunki hamare bacche kai baar hamare liye trophies ban jate hain hamari self esteem ki ji wo chopra sahab ka ladka kya kar raha hai wo sharma ji ka ladka wo uh, singh sahab ka ladka ki kar raha hai assi ek comparison karke assi apne aap mein utte pressure pa dete hain that our children must do a particular course a particular career let us stop pleasing the world trust me that sharma ji verma ji won't come and take care of your child later their happiness is lying in their hands let them think about what they are good at and you can become a very good support system to help them identify their strengths become realist show them a mirror ki beta is to ye karna to chahta hai lekin yahan par to tere marks support nahi kar rahe tere consistent low scores aa rahe hai to kaise manage karega aur agar tujhe lagta hai to karega to let's first use this 9th and 10th as a benchmark agar tu kar paaye fir definitely isko aage badhayenge nahi to fir hame alternate dekhna chahiye ki tu kis cheez mein excel karta hai i think parents could do that beautifully number 3 support i think every parent especially the ones who have the luxury of watching a youtube channel today i would say we are not living 40 or 50 or 100 years ago where our parents and grandparents did not have the luxury of financial capacity aaj relatively more secure lives mein hai hum middle class families relatively we are not in that crisis ke khana nahi hai mar rahe hain zindagi ka pata nahi hai Uh, of course, corona virus की वजह से थोड़ी सी uncertainty तो आ गई है. Yet we have a lot to sustain us. Vis-a-vis, if I compare with my grandparents' era, where when they were coming back from partition, they did not have that choice. They had to get into the first job they and 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 make money. आज parents के पास एक choice है. Career security की बजाय career uh, 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 aptness पर focus करें. अगर बच्चे कुछ रिस्क की करियर में जाना चाह रहे हैं या वो कुछ ड्रीम्स अपनी पूरी करना चाह रहे हैं पर आपको लगता है कि ये इसका जोश है ये जोश जोश में कह रहा है बाद में नहीं कर पाएगा मुझे लगता है एक मौका हर बच्चा डिजर्व करता है कि वो अपना खाब पूरा करके देखे फॉर एग्जाम्पल बच्चे ने एक खाब के लिए उसको लगा मुझे जर्नलिज्म करना है एंड आपके लिए देर वॉज नॉट अ ग्रेट कोर्स यू डि नॉट थिंक इट वॉज वेरी गुड अ चॉइस बट योर चाइल्ड इज पैशनेट तो पहले आप बच्चे को थोड़ा टेस्ट जरूर करें help them see ki apni capability prove kar to achhe institute mein admission leke aa i will support you uh, then give them that chance teen saal baad agar wo bachcha kehta hai ji nahi mere se to nahi ho raha this is not for me i think you and i as parents today can afford financially we can afford that now if the child has understood later that they would want to change we will still be able to support them or we can tell the child during the 3 year period of their graduation or four year period ke beta jao ab now you also should start doing some part time work and earn your livelihood so that we can take care of your next course but i think they deserve a chance to live their dreams pehle se unke wings clip na karne shuru kar de jahan par security ye career to kuch ajeeb sa hai ye kya chef banna hai tumne isse kya ho jayega ye kya designing mein jana hai ye kaun se careers hote hain पर आज बहुत प्रोग्रेस कर चुके हैं हमारे क्रिएटिव करियर्स सम ऑफ द बेस्ट पेड प्रोफेशन दे हैव बिकम बट इफ यू हैव द राइट टैलेंट मेरा एक रिक्वेस्ट हर पेरेंट्स से है वो एक फिल्म का डायलॉग जा सिमरन जा जी ले अपनी जिंदगी आई थिंक लेट्स मेक इट मंत्रा ऑफ आवर लाइफ एक बच्चा कम से कम जिंदगी भर ये रिग्रेट तो नहीं करेगा कि काश मेरे बाप बाप ने मुझे वो डांसर वो म्यूजिशियन वो शेफ बनने दिया होता उनकी शायद एक बार वो फेल होके वापस आएंगे तो शायद वो पूरे फर्जी व्यरन के साथ आएंगे कि मैं करके दिखाऊंगा अब इसमें क्योंकि मैंने अपनी चॉइस करके देख लिया वो नहीं वर्कआउट करी बट अगर वर्कआउट कर गई सो द हैप्पीनेस फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ देयर लाइफ एंड देयर थैंक यू फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ देयर लाइफ एज वेल सो प्लीज सपोर्ट देयर ड्रीम्स गिव देम अ चांस फॉर श्योर लेट देम मेक मिस्टेक्स इट्स ऑल राइट वी कैन अफोर्ड इट आई थिंक वी कैन अफोर्ड रिस्क फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग ऐसे करें राधर देन सेविंग फॉर देयर वेडिंग्स एंड देयर डाउरीज let us say for their education so that they can live their dreams i would say so, so the next question which was lined up was a live question where somebody had asked that i want to become a tabla profession but my parents influence me to do llb so i think hopefully that question has now been answered through your inputs i think we're already running out of time so we'll switch to the last question it's a very interesting question it says what so what is the career that we can choose if someone wants to work for the betterment of the religion the whatever religion there in the community and add something to the community and do the social welfare what are the available professions or what is, what is the way out i think we have simran ma'am live over here as an example <laughs> if she would like to add 
okay uh, first of all what my understanding is this uh, there is no set profession for you to serve community in whatever profession you are community needs it there's a lot of need for the community for trained professionals to be there giving services so um, this question like which profession is best to serve community i feel that every profession whatever profession you are in you can contribute being in that profession very beautifully to the community uh and uh, you know when it comes to uh, my personal uh, feeling i always feel that you know there's a time in your, there's a stage in the life wherein you reach and you realize that whatever you were running for is a material now is the time to give it back to the to where you've taken so much so uh, and also like it has to come from that realization unless and until that's your driving force that the driving force is to serve community to help people uh, your investing of time would not be that beneficial either for yourself as well as for community I, if i could add uh, one like pam said that uh, you can serve from wherever you are i would say today the pans the community needs you as a, to see you in uh, leadership positions they will we want to see engineers doctors but we want to see people who are living the values so i think if you become a doctor become a gursik nanak values oriented doctor if you become a lawyer become the sikhi values oriented lawyer if you become a teacher become a values oriented teacher and i think that's one way you serve the second way you also serve is now look at those professions and there are organizations which are doing community work around that for example if you're an educator please help us uh, we need your assistance all the time we're working with kids we're working with youth we're an education based uh, organization so so we are here there are people who are providing legal services for the community so go join them if you're an environmental lover please there's another organization if you are the one who can rescue people and help people in terms of disasters please uh, go join them so while you are in whatever profession you can also take it up as as a volunteering work uh, part time the third is if you intend to really take it up as a full time career maybe you should start thinking of taking up social work as your mainstream career to begin with so that you understand communities ko uplift kaise kiya jata hai what are the processes and systems so masters of social work is a beautiful program that delhi university has to offer this has some amazing programs that uh, that you could look at but train yourself in social work and then come with the knowledge of uplifting community to systematically be able to work towards the welfare of this community and humanity at large there in mind i think so there is one live question which uh, is coming on a very high request it says can you please <laughs> talk about something related to a career as a photographer or a filmmaker i think this is the last question <laughs> <laughs> you have huge scope my dear um, we have a photographer Uh, he was studying architecture he dropped out he, he and now today he is a very very successful bollywood photographer he comes to our uh, youth camps all the time and uh, but i think photography is something that you can take it up as as a hobby start training yourself professionally so many online courses join the wedding photographer industry as a as a volunteer even if you don't get paid too much doesn't matter get the skills I think हम youngsters ना हर चीज़ equal to money देखते हैं ये नहीं सोचते कि मैं वैसे कोई course करता हूँ तो उसके लिए पैसे pay करने पड़ते हैं यहाँ पे मुझे चाहे peanuts मिलेंगे पर वो जो skill development होगी what will what is the cost of that that is also my pay package that's added to it so go train yourself with those people and today YouTube is given you a free platform make your films we annually run a Sikri film festival. and we would request if you have that mindfulness please create short videos and and start work and 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 collaborate with people who are already in the industry who are doing small films understand how how filmmaking works we are um, this year guru kripa karin we will be launching a filmmaking uh, short program on how to create films and and low budget uh, short videos that can be motivational for people so keep it tap there are a lot of other people working please train yourself but like i said um, it can be a slightly risky career get your backup option ready just in case you don't make it to that big photography uh, world 
then at least you have a backup to fall back on so i think with this we are we've run out of the questions we have gotten a lot of questions about how to <laughs> shift our careers or streams after post graduation but since we can't address them now so certainly yeah. we'll have another webinar where all these questions yeah. will be addressed thank you to all our panelists simran ma'am amit ma'am and jasmeet ma'am for being there thank and thank you. you to this young thank dynamic you. uh, woman who's been moderating and helping us stay carry this forward thank you so much for having us here and thank you for leading it and to all our viewers who are watching uh, don't think all questions can be answered in one program so let us keep connected your question will get addressed in one of the following subsequent webinars and uh, we are planning the webinars based on the kind of questions we get so keep following it up and otherwise you also have if something is pressing you too much the counseling at gameoflife.co.in email is available to you you can send us your questions there and if we haven't addressed it over here we will write back to you as well right thank you so much everybody it was such a pleasure uh, joining everybody together thank you thank you so thank much. you so much thank you so much